everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. Time to put those three colored stones to use. I wonder what it is. And the door opened. Who's back? And decked out an even heavier armor this time. All right, buddy, bring it on. So, yeah, Congol is back. And since he's Earth Elemental, the... Oh, ow. Yes, he still does that. I about to say, since he's Earth Elemental, the Twister Glaive is fairly effective against him. He definitely brings the hurt on um, a lot harder this time. Also, that just looks brutal. He pretty much throws that thing straight through your neck. Like, I don't know how that doesn't just decapitate the character, but... Yeah. And you're getting two turns in a row. You cheater. Crash! Yeah. Okay, then. You know, Kongle, I was gonna do a few additions on you, and you know, fight more fairly, but after that... I think I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I was planning on finishing him off with this, but... You know what, we might as well just get this fight out of the way. Because we got bigger fish to fry. it sounds like he's saying final burp. <laughs> yeah, that did some huge damage. Now, the thing about Kongol, um, if you use magic on him, he will do this. So, I think magic is completely ineffective against him now. I don't think I've ever actually tried using magic on him while he had a magic barrier up, but yeah. Unless you use magic on him, he will not do the uh, crystal defense thing. Oh wow, I'm not doing good with the Dragoon additions right now. Look at you, Congo. You're already almost beat. Your limpy little magic barrier is not going to save you at all here. Yeah! Well, I think 
takes care of that. Fun fact, if you kill Kongol without him ever putting the magic barrier up, you will actually see the little uh, barrier crystals appear very briefly. Like, as he disappears. Yeah, now that chest is kind of hidden right there. The material shield, it, it's basically physical attack barrier. It's another repeat item, and it lets you uh, put a physical attack barrier up for three turns. Anyway, this is it. Are you all ready to confront Emperor Dole? Well, I'm actually not, because I need to equip Crush Dance. There we go. Ugh, more and more still only has three uses. All right. Well. I think I'll go ahead and heal Albert at least. And you know what? I'll go ahead and heal Rose up too. Hey, but this room looks familiar. sets, huh? Time to take down Dole and end this conflict that's torn Sergio in two. Now initially, Emperor Dole appears to be a pretty easy boss, but... Well, don't count your chickens before they hatch. I'll say that much. Die! More and more! Look at that, he's already half beat. Oh wow, that's the first time I've seen a counter in freaking forever. Most of the additions I've been using don't even seem to have counters at all. 
We beat him already. Yeah, actually, no. Well, I know you guys didn't believe me anyway, but no. Dull is a Dragoon. And I'm gonna say right now, he is the hardest boss on Disc 1, bar none. Dole is a huge, huge step up in difficulty from every single boss battle previously in this game. He's got a couple of um, attacks that hit the whole entire party for huge damage. And on top of that, he's got high defense and an absolute boatload of HP. Now, the reason I'm having Albert transform is because I want to go ahead and use a Rose Storm. Because you definitely want to play defensively while fighting Dole, because... This guy is not a boss that you want to underestimate. Rose Storm! That'll help out a little bit. Honestly, Dole is so powerful, it might have been smarter to just equip my most powerful additions before going in and fighting this guy, but you know what, I'll tough it out. I'll use the weaker stuff and build it up during the fight. Not that I have much of a choice now, anyway. Decisions have already been made. Oh, here we go. Now he's busting out the magic. Oh, good. He's only using Sparknet. But he can boost it up to maximum performance, as you can see. Yeah, look how much damage that did to Rose, even with increased magic defense. I'm actually a little bit worried that I might not have brought enough uh, potions to this fight. Because we are going to be really feeling the hurt from some of his later attacks. You know... I should probably use have Rose use a few attack items on him. weird thing is, um, all of the extra addition grinding I did 
not really addition grinding, but all the extra training I got in from hunting those special monsters has ironically made me weaker for this fight than I usually would be. Because, um, normally by the time I get to Dole, it's like some of, like, I'm usually working on, like, the second editions for most characters, and they're almost maxed out, so they're more powerful than the third editions would be if you were, like, just starting out on the third or, you know, fourth editions. In, in Dart's case, I'm currently, I just started Crush Dance. <laughs> But yeah, it's like, I'm actually like, I, I actually have less firepower against this guy because it just so happens that um, all of my additions that I'm currently using are very weak because they're like brand new additions that I just started using. So that puts me at a disadvantage here. So because of that, that's why I'm using some attack items on him. Also, this here is his biggest attack. This is the one that really hurts, and I'm glad I'm guarding right now. Yeah, it's also because I don't really have that many potions, and this, this attack right here, as well as another attack of his if he ever gets a chance to use it, um, they hurt really bad, and they eat through your healing items. Anyway, at this point, um, as you can see, he's put up a barrier, and there's nothing you can do about that. You just have to wait till it goes away, so you just have to keep guarding until the barrier dissipates. See, so, look, he's just spamming this now. <laughs> If I can get a Dragoon special going, I'm definitely nuking this guy with Final Burst. <laughs> For now, just keep guarding. Ah, uh, here's the last attack we haven't seen. Ah! Yeah, that's actually... Oh, yeah, that's actually more powerful than his other move. Y you would think that that, um... You, you would think his, uh, sword, um, lightning ball explosion thing would be, um, a lot more... Yes, I seriously just called it that. You know, because this game doesn't... None of the enemy attacks have names, unless they're, like, attack items, but... Okay, here we go. Yeah, you would think that would be his strongest move, but I always forget that that Thunderbolt attack is actually... A, it's actually even more powerful. <laughs> okay, this would actually be a very good time to use a Spirit Potion. I'm gonna use it on Albert. I wanna get his SP built up, and then we can get a Dragoon special going here, and we can bring the pain to Dole. Run, Typhoon! Because I have so few healing potions, I definitely need to get the Dragoons going here. We're not going to be able to survive this for long. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use the other Spirit Potion on Rose. Ironic. I, I say that I never actually really use these things, like, to get through battles, and yet here I am actually using them to, like, save myself in this battle. But hey, I guess there's a first time for everything. Yeah! Alright, no way we're gonna lose now.
admit, that's a really cool looking attack, though. Okay, I should use Astral Drain to heal a little bit of health here. Yeah, he's in the red now, so we definitely got this. Great. Should be able to finish him with just Dragoon additions now. Oh wait, wait, we beat him. Finish him, Dart. In this war. Oh yeah, everyone transforms back. I thought it was just Dart. <laughs> okay, Dart, you can run up and finish him now. And so the Serdian War comes to a close. That is such an awesome scene. But yeah, Dole is a pretty tough cookie if you try to go at him without Dragoons. Which I've done multiple times before. In fact, I usually fight him without really resorting to Dragoons. It's just that my additions were so weak at this, you know, because I'm just starting with these additions, they were so weak. And it's also the fact that I didn't have very many healing potions left. I wouldn't have been able to endure that entire fight if I only used the human form, so... Yeah. I busted out the Dragoons, but... Hey, at least it was more cinematic that way.
But hey, don't count yourself out just yet, Hashel. Onwards to Tiburoa! You know, I always thought the name of that place, it, it sounded like it would be a very cold and icy place, but it's actually the exact opposite. Tiburoa is actually a desert... area. Also, um, when I first played this game, like, when I first beat it, well, not beat it, but I mean, like, when I first played through... Oh, that transition made my Elgato do the, uh, weird, uh, thing it does. Like, it, it, it stopped recording for, like, four seconds or so. But, um, as I was saying, when I first played this game, like, way, way, way long ago, I actually thought I beat the game when I defeated Dole, because I took so long getting through disc one that I legitimately forgot that there was three other discs. <laughs> Or either that, or I was under, I was, maybe I was under the mindset that, like, maybe I was of the mindset that the other three discs, like, weren't the same game or something. I don't know, I think Dragoon might have actually been my first ever, um, multi-disc RPG. I think, I don't know, I can't remember. Final Fantasy VIII was actually the very first RPG that I ever played technically, but that's only because I played the demo of it, um on a Pizza Hut disc. That was my first ever experience with anything RPG related, but I don't think the full game of Final Fantasy VIII was the first RPG I played. I think one of the first that I, like, one of the first full RPG games that I, uh, uh, played through was The Legend of Dragoon, and I think it was my first multi-disc RPG. I might be wrong, but I can't think of any other reason for why I would think that the other three discs were something, like, completely unrelated to what I was playing through at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, um, it was, you know, it was when I realized that those other three discs were, like, the rest of the journey, I realized that I was in for one of the greatest games I'd ever played. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what I was thinking at the moment. But anyway, see you all in Tiburoa.